We're going to make earrings from the craft and chat. And so I'm going to be using some of this napkin art, the napkins, um, because I love these patterns. I think they'll look really cute um, uh, for the photo that I want to, that I have to take today, the photos I have to take today. And so I want to show you that, um, and we've done these in the napkin club. We've done these. And in fact, this is something that a lot of our napkin club members make. A lot of our napkin club members sell their, their things they make. And this is one of the things that sells so well at like craft shows or in booths. If you have a rental booth or something is earrings. Everybody loves earrings, right? Women love earrings. It's like eye candy. Um, they love them. And so we have these blank uh, earring sets that we sell right there. You can see that they're just blank wooden blanks and all of the little hardware stuff. I don't I guess you call this stuff hardware, but the little hooks, the little jump rings, the little plastic backs to the earrings, those all come with it. So we just sell it as a complete set and um, they're so cute. They're really cute to make and they're so fun to wear and they're very inexpensive um, to make your own. And so I thought it would be fun if we made some today. All right, does that sound like fun? And while we're making it, you guys are actually helping me out because um, you can help me decide which ones to wear today and uh, when I get these pictures taken. So I'm, I'm going with kind of reds and blues here. These are the napkins that I pulled out. I absolutely love this one because it feels kind of denim-y. I think this one would be so cute to wear with any time I have any kind of denim on denim, you know, jeans or shorts or jackets or whatever. So I thought this one would be really cute. And then we also have this napkin in red. And I was like, oh, okay. Like that's kind of cute. Then I was thinking, well, you can never go wrong with a check. Like a red and white check would be super cute. I'll show you the length. I'll show you the length on me. Um, I can't wear earrings that are super long because I'm just, I'm a, I'm a short person and they just, I don't know, they don't, don't feel right. They're no bigger than these hoops right here. I also love this one because it feels like a bandana, right? It's got that bandana look and feel to it. So I know for sure I want some of these. So I think that's the ones I'm going to start with today. Okay. Sound good? <laughs> we do sell these earrings in our shop. We just sell them as pair, as just like a pair, a, a unit of earrings. Um, uh, those of those of you out there, does anybody out there sell earrings? I mean, do you do that? Napkin art is a great thing to put on these earrings blanks, y'all. And they're so cute and you can get so many out of it and they're lightweight. They're very lightweight. That's important for me. I don't like he heavy earrings. They bother my ears. I just don't like them. So I like things that are lightweight. So yeah, they're really cute. And um, it looks like Susan. Hi, Susan. Susan just posted um, our little earring kit in um, the comments. Maybe we'll even throw in, maybe we'll even throw in a napkin with them today. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's get started. And... The first thing I'm going to do is I have my friction pin here because, you know, napkins, I don't, I don't necessarily want to like grab anything too big. I want some of this denim kind of print. So I'm kind of thinking I might do like, I'm not going to do these big roses because I want more blue showing. So I'm just going to kind of lay these out where, where I need them to be. Let me adjust this camera. Let's bring this camera down. There we go. That's much better. So I'm kind of thinking about like this right here. That's really cute. So I'm going to lay my earring out. I'm going to use a friction pin to actually trace this out. Okay, I'll still have to sand it some, but that helps me see what I'm going to get, right? Let's open this up. Let's see. Where's an, here's another one right there. So you can have a matching set of earrings, but also something that's popular right now are mismatched earrings. 
And especially with summer coming and 4th of July, um, we were actually just looking at some napkins in the back, Susan and I, where you can make maybe one of them stars and one of them stripes. Like that would be really cute. Um, so you could do something like that even. All right. So I'm going to cut, just kind of cut into this napkin. Obviously, you can see if you didn't care about the pattern, you could just get a ton of earrings out of this, this one napkin. Um, sometimes I will... Um, I would, I would say it's a good idea to do both sides. And if you're really good with your jump rings, if you're really, if you're not, you know, if you're used to, to using jump rings, you can almost do one side, a completely different pattern, and then just switch them in your jump rings if you wanted to. Okay. Um, yes, they're available through the private shopping link. Don't we have them on the, oh, no, I'm just saying we might throw, we'll, th if you order some, we'll just, we'll, we may throw in a surprise napkin for you. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's go ahead and do the fronts here. Now we got to take off the plies. Also, I'm not going to paint these nap these uh, earrings. If I if I wanted to, I could paint them white. But I'm kind of thinking I'm just going to let the wood show through. I think that would be really cute. All right, so let's take a look and see what this would look like. So you do have the option. Anytime you're using napkin art on a surface to either paint the surface or leave it plain. These are kind of just a blonde wood, right? They're just kind of that naked wood color, blonde, I call it. I don't know. Um, so this color is going to actually show through where the white is. And I think that's actually going to look kind of neat. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that on these. I'm just going to use Mod Podge. Susan, if I confused you, pop in here, and I can ex I can show you um, the napkins if you want to show Renee. You can like cut them in half or something, or I don't know. I probably have just sent everyone into a tizzy <laughs> at the store because I didn't check to see how many of these napkins we had. <sighs> All right, so I'm going to use just plain old Mod Podge for this. Mod Podge matte is what I like to use with um, um, my napkins, especially on a smooth wood surface like this. So there's one, and now I'm just going to, you'll be able to kind of see through it. I'm just going to lay this then right in place. I'm going to use a plastic sheet here, plastic wrap, to smooth this because these earrings are smooth. This wood is really smooth, and this is going to help me to get this on here without any wrinkles. It's going to look great. Look how cute that is. That's going to look really good. Yeah, I'll put them in my ears after we're done so you can see how long they hang. All right, so there's that one. Oh, I love that. So let me show this to you just so you, that you can kind of see the difference. Do you see how this looks really white? And do you see how this, do you see, it even looks more denim, doesn't it? It looks more like denim on the earring than it does even on the napkin. But do you see the difference in the white with the blonde wood showing through? I really like that. That looks really cute. And like I said, you could do, uh, you can, can decorate both sides. And I, if you're selling them, I probably would. You could do them the same, like the same pattern or uh, something completely different if you wanted to. They would just have to switch them around on the jump ring. Okay, and again, I'm just going to kind of position this one. I don't have to be exactly the same. All 
Oh my gosh, I love how these look. This looks great. All right. Do y'all like that? Isn't that pretty? So this would be just like if you were napkinizing on like say a wood block or something for your tiered tray. Um, anything that's white on the napkin is going to become transparent, clear, right? So that that wood look would come through that part of your napkin. I think those look great. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Yes, think about it. Gosh, you could just do all kinds of things. Patterns, colors, icons. This could be a cute um, gift, too. Something really simple and easy to make. I like to dry them before I sand them. I don't want anything to pull. So, and also by drying them, that heat um, takes away the friction ink line. The friction pin just disappears with heat. So I'm just gonna take a little pair, a little uh, piece of sandpaper here, and I'm gonna sand this off. So cute, really truly looks like denim. I mean, look at that. It looks like denim. That's exciting to me. That's cute. And it's just this easy. Now we do want to protect this. Um, so we're going to put a light coat over the top. I'm not going to do the backs right now um, because I want to do another set in red. But I'm just, everything we just did, you would do the same thing on the back. Okay. Um, and then you could decide if you want different patterns or different colors or anything different on the back. And so the next thing I'm going to do is just take like if you have a little um, a piercer, that one's a little big. Let me see if I have a smaller one. If you have a little like a paper piercer, even a pin, you just need something to kind of pop uh, even my scissors. Actually, you just need something to kind of uh, push through the hole. See right there, super easy. Remember, it's just napkin tissue, so it's gonna be really easy to puncture through. I'm gonna make sure you have that hole at the top. And then I'm gonna give them just a quick, thin, even coat of Mod Podge over the top. This is gonna to help to seal them and protect them. Super easy. Now, there's something else that was supposed to happen this week, um, and I'll go ahead and tell you about that, is we, we are releasing a new um, summer set for our Welcome Home seasonal display. And um, I don't know if y'all know this, but we had some storms in the area this week in our area, and um, it delayed a couple of our deliveries. So I'm, I'm going to give you a little peek. I'm going to give you a little peek at the summer set of canvases. They won't be available to order until next week because we have one more little embellishment, just, just one more little embellishment that hasn't made it here yet. And as soon as it does, I can add it and I can um, get the photos taken of those. So just know it's a, a, a pair of canvases for the Welcome Home seasonal display. One is summer themed and one is patriotic themed. Okay, so if you're doing that, um, I'll give you a little sneak peek. Okay, I'll give you a little sneak peek after we make these earrings. So what do you think I should do for my second set of earrings? I was kind of leaning towards the check, actually. I think the check is really cute. I think it's really cute. Of course, I love this one. This is the same exact napkin as this one but I like this one more because it looks like denim. I really like that. And of course this, um, the red is cute too. It's got kind of a denim look to it as well. It's just colored. I also really like this one, but it's not quite as bright, but I don't know, that might be good. These other ones are really bright. Let's see, what could I capture? I could do something kind of like right to smack in the middle. I don't know. I think I'm leaning towards this one. I'm gonna go ahead and do the check. 
All right, so let's do this one again. And this one will be great because it's going to be easy to put on. Now, checks, you have a choice. You have a choice with checks. You can either put your earring on straight where the checks run straight, vertical, horizontal, across. Or you could uh, go like this so that they're diagonal. All right. Do you know what I'm saying? So it'll look more like a crisscross kind of check versus a horizontal um, vertical check. I'm kind of feeling the crisscross because then I can, uh, I just think it'll be, I don't know. I think it'll be cute. So let's just line this up on here. And again, probably didn't really have to trace this out, but that's okay. We'll go ahead and trace it out. Sometimes if, it, if, it's, if you have a pattern that, that's not really directional or you're trying to line up anything specific, literally you can just cut a square of it um, because you're going to sand it off of the edges of the earring anyway. Right? You excited to see, see a, a peek at the canvases? <laughs> I'm excited to show you. We were supposed to have, it was all supposed to be ready to roll out this week. And, you know, sometimes things just get in the way. I'm going to, I'm going to show you this too. You could just cut along this line, but I have found that sometimes it's, it's actually a little harder for me to line up if I cut right on the line. And that could just be me. If it's easier for you to, um, to cut it out and then put it on, you could. You could just cut a, cut along the line. But for whatever reason, I just have better luck putting it on this way and then sanding off my edges. Because if I do get it a little bit off, it's not going to matter because that ink line is a friction pin and that ink line is going to disappear. Make sure you take off all your plies. I'm doing my lick and stick method, but you could also put a little tiny drop of Mod Podge on your fingers. All right, how cute are these going to be? They're so cute. No reason why you couldn't do these with scrapbook paper, map pages, music paper. I mean, you can you could do them with anything. All right, let's get that one on. Cute. I really love the wood grain, the, that kind of blonde, naked wood <laughs> coming through here. You like sneak peeks. I would, Gail. I would do both sides. I'm just not doing both sides right now. Um, but yes, I would do both sides just because it looks more finished. You know, it, it's going to look more finished, especially if you're gifting it to someone or you plan to sell them. Just, just looks more professional and finished. And again with my plastic wrap, that's going to give me the smoothest finish here. And just think if you did like watercolor napkins, napkins that have like a watercolor look to them, the earrings will look hand painted. So that's kind of fun too. Napkins are just so wonderful. How many of you watching right now are in the napkin club? Yeah, they do flip around. They'll flip around a little bit. So it is going to be important to, to do both sides. And you're going to do the back side just like I'm doing this side right here. So it's no no different. Or I guess you could paint the back side if you didn't want to napkinize both. Okay, I see lots of napkin club members here. I want to see the earrings you've been making. Let's post pictures of the earrings you guys have been making. Post them in the group or on your pages and tag me. Tag Miss Tracy Creates. And there's lots of different styles of blanks. 
these this is the style we carry just because it seems to be the most popular but there are all kinds of different uh, different styles of blank earrings craft stores carry them and of course I'm sure you can find them in bulk online if you did plan to do like a lot okay let's puncture our little hole again super easy okay now let's look and see how this one looks compared to the white so here is our white and you can can y'all tell hopefully you can tell that do you see how it looks more blonde it's that wood showing through i love it and then again we're going to come back and we're going to put a top coat on always don't forget the top coat this is remember this is just a napkin tissue really thin piece of tissue so let's make sure that we seal it properly I want to make sure they last for a very very long time just a thin even coat okay now I'm going to go back to this one all right and we're going to talk about the um the the jewelry what did they call them findings i called it hardware a while ago but the jewelry findings here so i'm not doing the back right now but i recommend that you do all right using embroidery floss Okay, let me show you what's here. There is, um, yeah, I don't know. I lost, I didn't see the first part of that question. I just see using embroidery floss. It caught my eye <laughs> in the comments. So these are going to be the parts that go through your ears, right? The hooks. And then you're going to have two sets of jump rings. There's kind of a large set and a small set. And they're already split for you in our kit. They're already split. You can kind of see that they're split there. And then also there will be two of the little plastic backs. Okay, two of the little plastic backs. So. The other thing that you're going to need for this part is just going to be a little pair of needle nose pliers. These work great. Um, just for, because the, the jump rings are split, we're going to want to kind of smash them back together. <laughs> and so this is going to help. It also helps, I think, to um, hook the earring onto the jump ring. I think that really helps as well. Do, I kn do you know what type of metal that goes in the ear? Um, you know, I do know that. I think it's in the description. Hey, Susan. On the earring set, does it say what type of metal in the description? Would you check that for us? Okay, I'll have her check that for us. All right, so I'm going to start with the larger, um, with the larger, sorry, let me put my hand underneath it, the larger jump ring. Do you see how it's split? It's pulled kind of right there, it's split. So the first thing I'm going to do is pull this into the earring just like that. And then we're going to close the jump ring. And we simply just, if I get my fingers around it, there we go. We just, just kind of smash it back together. You'll see that. Sorry, I'm trying to get the camera to focus. Okay. I do this with the bigger jump ring. So I'm holding it. Again, holding it. It's already split for you. And I'm going to run it through the hole. Okay, and then I'm just going to squeeze the jump ring back together. Now, if they don't meet, sometimes you've got to kind of finesse it. Pull this one just a little bit. Yep, and then we're going to give it a good squeeze. Okay, we're just squeezing it back together the jump ring 
Okay, so the next jump ring is what's going to attach it to the hoop. Okay, does that make sense? Uh, not the hoop, sorry. The hook. Do you call this a hook? Um, let me just go on record and tell you guys that I am not a jewelry person. I don't know the professional names for all of these things. <laughs> this is the part that goes in your ear. All right. So I'm going to take the little jump ring. And I'm going to put this here. And then I always have to think about this because I have to think, okay, how is the... How is this going to look? Actually, maybe let's do this first. I'm going to put it on the, now i got to get it back off. I'm going to put it on the earring first. There, ha there have been a couple times where I accidentally put it on and I have the earring going backwards. Let's do this one. We started with this one first. Okay, so now I have the, the jump ring on this one. This is the smaller one. The technical word is thingy, okay? I like that. <laughs> so now I can see, um, you see how my pattern is to the front here? So then that's going to help me know, okay, then my little earring hook needs to go to the back. So if you do have a specific back and front, you'll want to know that. And then I'm just going to come back in and squeeze the jump ring. <gasps> and voila, we have an earring. I'm going to put them in my ears here in just a second. Let's do the other one. Cute, right? Super easy. If I can do this, you can do this because I'm not, I'm not like, I don't make jewelry. I'm just a crafter who wants to make earrings from napkins. <laughs> wants to decorate earrings with napkins. Okay. So again, I'm going to put that one through and then I can see that this is my front. So I'm going to make sure the hook goes to the back. Lay that on and then just squeeze the jump ring shut. Squeeze it real good and tight. Okay, ready to see them? This is gonna be helpful because you're gonna be able to see how long they are. Okay, you ready to see them on me? Let's see if I can. Let's see, can I put an earring on live? Yeah, I can, I can. <laughs> Look how cute they are. Oh, let me get my hair out of the way. Do you see? So they don't like touch my shoulder. They don't do any of that. So I like them. I'll have to put, put my hair back here. But do you see how they do dangle? They're gonna dangle. So it is gonna be important to put um, something on the other side, right? Because they're going to dangle. Aren't they cute? I think they look awesome. I love them. Look how cute that's going to be. Anytime I wear denim of any kind, those are going to be adorable to wear. Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and do this pair, and then I'll switch, and I'll put this pair on. Now, they do have the little plastic backs. I didn't put these on because I'm going to take these back off and try these on in just a second. But let's do this one again. And remember, it's the larger jump ring that you're going to put through the earring, the actual uh, wood part of the earring, the decorative part. It's the large jump ring you're using first. And it's not hard to, to split these jump rings back um, because, again, I'm going to want to uh, do the back side of them. I'm just trying to save some time for you guys watching. Okay, I'm just going to squeeze that jump ring back. So it's always the big one first, or at least that's what I do. Ah. And my thing, I have fat fingers, so it really helps to use these pliers when I'm putting them in. So again, I'm gonna just squeeze that shut, right? So next up is going to be the small jump ring. Oop, it's peeling off the uh, Mod Podge on my fingers. <laughs> okay. Yes, you could, this could be a pendant. These would even be cute, like charms or things that you could make to hang off of 
Um, if any of you do like cute little uh, mini books or, you know, just I, th I think there's lots of ways. Sorry, this my hair is big today because I let it just dry curly. Let me kind of turn it so y'all can see. But do you see how they're going to dangle? They're going to dangle. So we definitely need to do we need to make sure that we do the back. All right, let's go back to here. We're going to put on the small jump ring. Whoops, hang on. All right, maybe let me hold it on this side. Okay, this one's not split quite wide enough, so I'm just going to split it a little more. These are soft enough you can even use your hands. Okay, there we go. So that piece is on. Now this time my um, pattern is to the front, so I'm going to make sure the hook goes to the back. And then we're going to squeeze it shut. Hang on, let me get my pliers on this wheel. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to show this to you the best that I can, but it's kind of hard. I mean, it's so small. Okay, that hook is on. Now my pattern is to the front, whatever, whatever you deem to be the front. If it's going to be the same on both sides, it won't matter. You won't have to worry about that. And we're going to put the hook to the back. <gasps> Whoops. and squeeze it. Oh darn. It came out right as I squeezed it. All right, which means I'm going to have to separate that a little bit. Okay, let's try again. There we go. No, don't come out. It will help if you clean your fingers first. I have Mod Podge all over my, sticky Mod Podge all over my fingers. All right, I'll have to do this one again. Hang on, let me clean off some of this Mod Podge. <laughs> it keeps wanting to stick. <laughs> your husband needed me for something and I had to tell him, sorry, I'm in a napkin class. <laughs> he shook his head. That's funny. All right, I'm going to put this one back cl a little closer together this time. So it won't fall off. I almost need my skinnier pliers. I actually have some that are skinnier at home. Now, I just did this three times in a row with no problem. And now it's going to, now it's, this one's going to act up. Okay, there we go. And we need this to be to the back. And now all I have to do is squeeze this shut. <gasps> Yay! Okay. There we go. All right, let me put on the red ones. So you can see the red ones. And like I said, they're very light. They don't pull on my ears at all. So I love that. Sorry, my hair is caught in this one. Well, poo poo. I do this one right. Okay, I'll stick this one on. Actually this ear y'all can see better. I'm going to fix this other one. <gasps> Look how cute. 
That's cute. I like the check too. It's cute for summer. Patriotic things. You're probably going to be wearing lots of patriotic t-shirts and things real, real soon. All right. I got to fix this one right here. Mm -hmm. All right. If this happens, like I said, they're fairly soft jump rings. They're fairly soft. I'll make sure that's going to the back. So it's really not too hard to go back in um, because especially if they do have a back and a front, um, sometimes it is tricky um, to make sure that you have the hoop, not the hoop, I keep saying hoop, the hook for your earring, making sure it's going the right way. All right. Okay, I've got them both in there. Now I just need to squeeze it without it falling out. And probably you professional jewelry makers out there are probably laughing at me right now. And that's okay. I need a skinnier plier. Okay, I think I got it. Oh, I didn't get it. Okay, I'll fix that one later. <laughs> okay, so you can see my cute earrings here. <laughs> they both look cute. Here, I'll put I'll put one of each on. You can decide which one you which one you like uh, the best. But I think they're really cute. I think they're really fun. So you can mix and match them. Um, I don't usually do mix and match earrings, but I do think like stars and stripes would be cute for 4th of July or something like that. But I think they're really darling. And I'm tired of fighting with this other little jump ring. <laughs> Aren't they cute? All right, so that is the pair that looks kind of like denim. Love that one. I'm going to have to take my part anyway because I've got to do the backs. So I'm just not going to fight with that one right now. And there's that one. I think they're darling. So that is what they look like. And um, of course, you can see that was very quick, right? They don't really take a lot of time um, to put together. Um, and they're just they're just super fun really super cute and super fun you love to make earrings but you're not a pro okay that's me too i'm not a pro i'm definitely not a pro at earrings but um but if i can make these you guys can make these okay i promise you that i really love these these are just so fun put these on again Yes. If you were in the napkin club, these are past um, napkins. These were napkins that were in past bundles. All, all the ones that I just showed you, these two. And um, if you place an order today for some earrings, uh, we'll just, we'll throw in one. We'll throw in, we'll throw in a little napkin or maybe we'll cut them in half and throw in a couple or something. Just so you have a couple patterns to work with. Yes, you can resin them. Lori, thank you for mentioning that. If you want more of that like shiny kind of gloss look, you can even add some resin over them. If you want to sparkle them, if you want anything to sparkle, you can use your stickles on them, right? Especially like if you were doing, you know, stars and stripes or something like that for 4th of July, how cute would it be to have, have them sparkle, right? So yeah, lots of ways that you can dress them up even more pen work it's just like any of our other napkin art right you could do some pen work you could add some sparkle um definitely adding some gloss over them with resin that would be really cute too but you definitely want to do both sides so you see they are going to dangle so it's going to look much better if you do both sides okay 